Uh, great question. Um, it's not Bobby Flay. Um, I have to say, it was when I ate a beating cobra's heart, and this thing made me feel sick because I could still feel it like you know bouncing around in my tummy. So I googled um, the side effects to eat a cobra's heart. <laughs> Two minutes later, I passed it out. Uh, really good question. You know, traveling around the world, and every time I enter a city I haven't been to before, the first thing I Google is you know the best restaurants locally, the ones that have been open, you know, in the last six months, uh, and that is a great search. What do I wish that Google could help me find? Um, it's been 10 years in the making, but I would love them to help me find the freaking lamb sauce. Where did I grow up? I was actually born in Glasgow, but I grew up in Stratford-upon-Avon. Good question. Um, trust me, there's a big difference between kids and adults. Um, adults sometimes, you know, can be a nightmare. Uh, with the kids, uh, they learn quicker. There's no fear. Uh, you have to watch your P's and Q's. Uh, but with the adults, you can push them a little bit further, harder. Uh, with the kids, you know, you've got to become the ultimate coach. Where do I learn to cook? Um, I've been so lucky to work with some of the best chefs anywhere in the world. But for me, where did I really learn to cook? Uh, that was living in Paris, uh, working for Guy Savoie and Joe Robuchon. Now, this is a really good question because uh, the biggest problem is chefs actually cook for themselves as opposed to their customers. And then the second big issue is they cook food that's not even in season. So you've got no chance of making it delicious when it's not even in season. Crazy. What do I eat at home? Um, do you know, at weekends, it's always a roast. Uh, Monday to Friday, a lot of spaghetti. Uh, but the one thing I do enjoy every morning is the most amazing oatmeal. Oatmeal with caramelized bananas uh, to die for. That is the ultimate question. Uh, for me, over 100 episodes of Kitchen Nightmares, 27 liters of Peptal Bismol. Um, the worst disaster for me has to be Amy's Baking Company. That's right, Arizona. Uh, the good news is it's closed. So uh, that was a nightmare and a half. Uh, that's a really good question. You know, I have loved the food um, across season one of Kitchen Nightmares, which we shot in the UK. And it was a little uh, restaurant on the beach in Brighton. It was called the Soul Food Shack. And the chef on the sort of menu was a lady called uh, Mama Sherry. And the food was exceptional. And it was just amazing. Um, so yeah, believe it or not, I have loved the food on Kitchen Nightmares. Um, eggs first thing in the morning, uh, delicious. You know, I grew up with egg and soldiers, soft boiled, but I have to say, um, scrambled eggs is the perfect way to start the day because it actually gets you through lunch as well. A great, delicious, light, fluffy scrambled eggs. Amazing. Um, you know, Mission Stars for any chef is like uh, winning Oscars. Mm, currently, we've got seven Michelin stars. And yeah, our flagship restaurant, Gordon Ramsay, 20 years old this year and we've maintained three stars for 17 years. Who doesn't love a great soda potato? So I always make the most amazing soda potatoes with the leftover uh, boiled potatoes. Slice them, not too thin, uh, non-stick pan, olive oil first, shallots, garlic, saute uh, the potatoes and then finish with butter, fresh parsley, amazing. Uh, great question. You know, every protein needs flavor so of course you start off with color. Cooking with chicken is a little bit more difficult. There's hardly any fat, and so you can color the skin, but don't color the meat because it tends to dry chicken out. But definitely, I want that at the top of my tombstone. No color, no flavor. R.I.P. Can't believe you asked me that one. Come on, really? Um, bite your tongue. Um, frock nose. Um, great question. The last thing I Googled was the most amazing dive sites because when I go diving, you know, there are no interruptions. No one can get me. Uh, I'm not chased down by food critics or vegetarians. I'm left alone underwater uh, diving in amongst the most amazing sea.